Hey, Fit Lovers. Hey, Fit Lovers. Welcome back. I'm Ramsey. And I'm Mina. And today we will be talking about child support mm. and all that comes along with it. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is Garage Talk. Child support can be a touchy subject, we know. For some, you hear about the dad who refuses to pay or the mom who uses the money from child support for her own personal needs or wants. Mina and I have certainly experienced both of those scenarios. So today we thought we'd talk about some of our experiences and how we feel about the idea of child support. Well, I believe at the beginning of a divorce that child support can be a useful tool to help somebody get back on their feet. Ramsey and I have four kids between us. He has two daughters and I have a daughter and a son. Ramsey has his daughters half of the time and is very involved in their lives. We have my children full time. Yep. I have full custody of my children. Aside from the occasional phone call, my ex-husband is not involved and doesn't pay any support at all. Now I'm not complaining, I'm just stating the facts. Yeah. Still not good though. Mm -mm. Ramsey on the other hand has taken on the role of dad and he's very involved in all the kids' lives. And he pays a third of his income to his ex-wife every month. Okay, let me say first that I have no problem paying child support to my kid's mom for a reasonable period of time so she can get back on her feet. Going through a divorce is hard. And starting over again after a divorce can be even harder. Yeah. And I, we, have a legal and moral obligation to take care of the kids that we bring into this world. But I also think it needs to be fair. If both parents are fit to be parents, meaning that there's no mental, physical, or substance abuse, both parents should have an equal amount of responsibility to the kids, financially and otherwise. My problem with child support is that there's no accountability within the system. The court doesn't monitor how the mother, and it's usually the mother, uses the money that she gets from the father. And it's usually the father. Now, we're not saying that there aren't mothers out there who pay child support or no fathers out there who receive it. Yeah. But hey, Mina and I live in California, and it's no <laughs> secret that historically California family courts favor the mom as far as child support and custodial rights go. Yeah, I don't like that. I think if both parents are involved equally, then one parent shouldn't have to pay the other parent any kind of child support. If both parents have a job or the ability to get a job, then why should the other parent have to pay the other parent? And I think you should go 50-50 on all expenses with the kids. So it makes everything fair. I agree. Okay, so how long do you think the court should allow the lower earning spouse to collect child support and alimony? Well, I don't like the whole idea of alimony. I'm an independent woman and I believe that once you're no longer with a person, you have no financial obligation to them. Your only obligation is to the children that you have with them. Yeah. And why should you pay your ex money to maintain a certain lifestyle if you're not with them anymore? Right. Isn't that what a job is for? To maintain your lifestyle? Get exactly. a job? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean. Okay, what about child support? Do you think that one parent should be paying the other parent until the child is 18 years old? It depends. Each person's circumstance is different. If you're not spending any time with your children, I absolutely think that you need to pay child support until they're 18 years old. Okay, what about the cost of raising kids? I mean, you got like food, clothes, education, entertainment. I mean, that stuff get pretty expensive, right? Well, you spend money on those things. Nobody's paying you. Damn. Too bad you weren't my ex-wife. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, babe. Yeah. That, that, my bad. That, that came out. That came out wrong. I mean, we have home improvements to make, cars to repair, yep. kids that are in sports, and an oldest that's about to start driving. And I want to get her a car so bad. Oh, man. Yeah, we could do a lot with that money. Extra money. Your ex-husband fulfilling his legal and moral obligation to his kids, even if it's just time spent with his kids, that would make things a lot easier for us, too. Preach. 
Yeah, well, for me, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, my kids are getting older and more independent now, and soon enough, I'll be able to keep more of my own money. Yeah, right. That's when the real child support kicks in. <laughs> for you, it was more like you were thrust into responsibility and independence. I mean, leaving an abusive marriage with your kids and not much of anything else and starting over again, that takes thick skin. But here we are now, you and me, together, making it happen. We have a great blended family and things are only gonna get better. And if you and your significant other are looking for a deeper and more meaningful connection, click the link below and order the Intimacy Deck by Best Self. You won't be sorry. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you'll be notified first when we release new episodes. Thank you. Thanks again, fit lovers. Woo. See you next time. <laughs>